Coming up, we'll take a closer look at how one club is looking to make a difference for all students across Fayetteville High School. We'll also find out about a sport making its mark on FHS. I'm Emma Gardner. And I'm Abby Brandon. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. <music> Welcome back to the Bulldog Weekly. Today is Thursday, January 21st. We've got a great show planned. Let's start with some national news. As COVID numbers continue to rise, there is some optimism on the way. The state of Arkansas has now moved into phase 1B, where educators and those over the age of 70 may now be vaccinated against the virus. This is a major step in the way of reducing the infection rate and hopefully ending the pandemic. If you fall into Phase B, please contact pharmacies that are offering the vaccine to be added to their list. Phase 1C is expected to begin in Arkansas in early April and will feature those over 65 along with all ages with any pre-existing conditions. If you are interested in a career working with children, be sure to sign up for Foundations of Teaching. You get the chance to be a student intern at an elementary school within Fayetteville Public Schools, as well as having the opportunity to earn graduation cords. The deadline has been extended until February 12th, and you can sign up through the FHS CAP website. Has your CPR certification expired? Would you like an opportunity to renew your certification for free? Please contact Ms. Gunter at kathy.gunter at g.farrow.net to schedule a time to renew your certification. This opportunity will be open through January 29th, so act fast. Many clubs at FHS work to organize events around the school. One of those dedicated organizations is 26 Club. They work to set up and promote dances as well as other activities. But as FHS TV reporter Caitlin Shaw tells us, this year the club is putting more an emphasis on inclusion at FHS. 26 Club is an application-only club in charge of planning events like Homecoming and Colors Day. Now under new leadership, the club is looking at ways to include more students at FHS. It's actually, we're the oldest club at FHS. Um, it was founded in 1926, so that was the significance of the name um, 26 Club. Um, I'm passionate about being in 26 Club because I've always been a person who wants to be part of something big in my, like, my life. And I feel like with the 26 Club being um, part of everything here, homecoming, Colors Day, the homecoming parade, which we weren't able to do this year, but hoping um, next year we'll be able to do it. Um, and just being part of something big and knowing that like you did that and that people are like amazed by it, that's something that I want to do. So our club has a history of service and it has a history of being inclusive. And we're committed to carrying that legacy forward. Yeah, but like it was very welcoming to see that everybody came together to um, make, you know, even though it wasn't big, but to make um, the homecoming um, court look really nice and presentable and um, just to bring up everybody's spirits. They wanted to offer uh, activities for the student body. Um, so that's why we do all of the dances. And we also do philanthropy projects, um, coat drives, and we help with the angel tree and I have so many ideas moving forward for philanthropy. Thanks, Caitlin. And if you're interested in joining 26 Club, be sure to watch for information in the student announcements. The work-based learning program at FHS allows students to earn school credit for having a job. The courses combine direct instruction with on-the-job training to create a learning experience that is unique for each student who is enrolled. Students are released early or arrive at school late in order to accommodate this work. The sign-up deadline for work-based learning has been extended until February 11th and can be accessed on the school's CAP website. The Colors Day celebration will take place with traditional pep rally events on February 2nd during the boys' home game. We will also announce our 2021 Colors Day court at that game. As always, be sure to mask up and stay socially distanced. The AccuPlacer exam is being given in the college and career room by appointment only between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Monday through Friday. The cost is $2 per exam and must be paid at the time of the exam. The deadline to take the exam for concurrent credit courses 
as February 24th. Students can now earn college and high school credit at the same time through our Early College Experience Program with NWAC. Tuition is significantly reduced and there are scholarships available. There are elective and required course options available for students in grades 9 through 12. For a comprehensive list of courses and requirements, check the CAP website. Applications are due to Ms. Easton in the Phase 3 3rd Floor Admin Office by February 24th. Many sports were affected by the COVID shutdowns last year. Being conscious of those changes, FHS Wrestling has had to change the way they operate. FHS TV reporter Aiden Mills tells us more about how wrestling is moving along in these new times. As COVID struck last year, there has been a new curriculum to protect their students. And one might wonder, how is the most physical sport of them all, wrestling, stayed intact? So the new guidelines that we had to follow for this year, uh, starting off, uh, you know, we keep everybody uh, as, you know, as socially distant as possible uh, on and off the mat. The new guidelines, um, well, there aren't really much in practice, but actual like tournaments or duels, uh, there's, you can't shake anybody's hand, but you can wrestle, which I found kind of weird. Uh, but you wear, obviously you wear masks when you're not down on the mat. Uh, that's pretty much it. Like they sanitize after every match or after every few matches. So they're really trying to keep us safe, but like keep the sport going. So this sport uh, of wrestling, it, it prepares these kids for life. Uh, there's, there's a lot of mental aspect that goes into it. Wrestling is 90% mental, 10% physical. Um, there's a lot of ups and downs throughout the season. Uh, there's a lot of ups and downs throughout practice. And what we try to teach is, you know, overcoming those, overcoming the fears, getting those obstacles, um, you know, uh, setting our goals and, and achieve, achieving them. So. Uh, you know, just like in life, when, when they grow up and they get jobs and have, have families, not every day is, is going to be, you know, rainbows and sunshine. So they just got to learn how to, you know, grind, work hard, and, and continue to uh, do what they're supposed to. And, and that's what we try to teach. Eighth grade year, the wrestling team came for the football boys at Ramey. And, well, they asked us cross-country girls if we wanted to stay and, like, kind of just learn. And I kind of fell in love with the sport then. Like, I loved the uh, intensity that the sport brings and, like, all the, the, like, fun that the family has as a team. If you're thinking about joining wrestling, talk to Coach Petty in Arena 2303 about getting it added to your schedule for next year. I'm Aiden Mills, and this is FHS TV. Thanks, Aiden. After the break, we'll catch up with Braxton Boleyn and the Bulldog Sports Report. We'll see you in 30. What's up sports fans? Welcome back to the Bulldog Sports Report. I'm Braxton Boleyn. Both the boys and girls basketball teams are off to a good start in conference play. The boys team is coming off of a thrilling win against rival Springdale on Tuesday. The game went down to the wire with the Purple Dogs coming out on top by the score of 57-55. Both teams are back in action tomorrow night here at Bulldog Arena against Rogers Heritage. Make sure to buy your tickets online by going to the site at the bottom of your screen. Both wrestling and bowling teams are back in action today, and as always, don't forget to come out and support your dogs. That's all for sports. Back to the desk. Thanks, Braxton. That's all we've got for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHSTV Fayetteville High for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHS Bulldog TV to stay up to date with all the news around in the school and in the community. I'm Abby Brandon. And I'm Emma Gardner. We'll see you next time. Welcome back to the Bulldog Sports Report. I'm Braxton Bowling. I didn't do what's up sports fans. Braxton, we're on the bump. We'll catch up with Braxton. Wait, I don't know.